Hey, we're back with another episode of SNL Weekend Updates. I am Lane Stone. And I'm Stipa. Hey, yes, and yeah, it is called SNL, but we're missing Scott, so we replaced with another S Stipe here. Because <laughs> Scott is actually doing something starting with an S right now, and that's selling. So he's that's busy right. selling right now, <laughs> but we replaced Lots of selling this At least January. we had another S to <laughs> replace it with so we can do SNL. And yes, there are lots of selling in January, which we can get to a little bit later. But we want to talk about some of the things happening this weekend uh, around Orange County. I can start first. No, actually, you start first. What do you have going on? All right. Well, the first thing, this Saturday and Sunday, we have the Revolutionary War reenactment. And this is a really cool event. It's held at the Huntington Beach Library in at Central Park. And it's kind of at the back end where that big lawn area is, but it's a really cool event. They have uh, live gunfire, they have live cannons, they have live performances, they have a bunch of little shops set up to buy little trinkets. And it stuff. sounds like you've been before. Oh, I've been, I go every year. It's so much fun. I just love like standing there with like the guns going off and the cannons. I mean, obviously there's no live ammunition. It's sure. all just the gunpowder rounds and stuff. But the cannons, when they go off, it shakes the whole town. So do you just recommend like, earplugs then? Or uh, no, no. Okay, no. Just put your, immerse yourself into the war. They okay. didn't have earplugs back then. Come on. <laughs> okay. Come on. So no earplugs. Yeah. Okay. But it's just cool. They have a lot of like handmade items. They have like this soap maker that travels the, uh, the country for all these different reenactments. And they make handmade soaps and they smell amazing. And it's just a really cool experience. Now, and it's free. Now it is really cool, and that's why yeah. we mentioned it on the last episode too, because yeah. we wanted to make sure that we gave it enough time for people to properly research it, properly find time yes. to go, and then to go this weekend. Um, one thing that you might not know about Stipe too is he used to work for the Parks Department, and yes. Huntington Beach Central Park is an amazing park, if nothing else. If you don't have the time to go to the Revolutionary War reenactment uh, this weekend, at least go check out the park sometime. And we actually have a really fun park challenge coming up, so stay tuned for that as well. Yeah, no, the park's an amazing place. If you don't go for the Revolutionary War, reenactment there's uh, there's like little gyms set up around like pull-up bars push-up bars and stuff so if you want to go get some exercise on the weekend the entire path is 1.1 miles so you can easily track like how much you're walking or how much you're running if you're into Pokemon Go there's a bunch of little no Pokemon way. Go centers and I see people all the time on the weekend setting up at the corner is there's like a hundred people are still setting up I guess oh, I see it man. I see it and they're all on their phones this must be the only thing that they're doing Pokemon Go wow that was a blast from the past Okay, uh, so that tomorrow, it goes from, what time does it go, T 10 to 6? 10 to 6, Saturday, and 9 a.m. to 4 on Sunday. Now, if you're single and you can't find uh, somebody to meet tomorrow at the Revolutionary War reenactment, <laughs> we've got the event for you, because starting at 6, right after Revolutionary War reenactment, there is a speed dating in Orange County, Saturday Night Singles event at La Vida Cantina. Ooh. Now, we're probably not going to attend because we're both happily spoken for right now. Uh, but yeah, just wanted, it's Valentine's Day today, so yeah. if, if you're feeling a little bit lonely, you might want to meet somebody, go to La Vida Cantina um, tomorrow, uh, 6 to 8 p.m., Honestly, if you go on a Tuesday at La Vida Cantina, you might be able to meet somebody. That's, oh, yeah. That's just what get, I, that's get what out of the house. That's what I heard. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. But if, but if you need an excuse, it's a, a speed date in Orange County, Saturday night, La Vida Cantina, ages 24 to 38 from 6 to 8 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds fun. That sounds fun. Yeah. Well, and, not, <laughs> we're not going. <laughs> the next thing I have is a recurring event, and this is at the disc golf course. And I don't know if you remember Lane and Scott. We shot a video a little while back. And, it was not pretty. And <laughs> it definitely wasn't coming from a frisbee golfer. But um, it, it's a really great course. Uh, they have. Uh, it, it's like the the oldest or the second oldest course in America. And it, there's a really like deep and rich like culture. It's part of the culture here in Huntington now, Beach. Some of the best disc golfers in the world, if I remember, came yeah. from Huntington Beach. And there's actually the number one Frisbee golfer in the world right now is uh, um, Mc, Paul McBeth. And I remember back in the day when I was playing the youth tournaments, and, I mean, just like for fun, the little tournaments, there was like five of us. He was there with us and he's like four or five years younger than us. So he's like maybe in his mid twenties, somewhere around there. Wow. And he's the best in the world, the Huntington Beach local. He, he went right. to all the schools and everything. Steve so. is pretty good, I'm not. But if you want to get <laughs> your best partner and challenge us, let's do it. Yeah. we Game on. Calling all challengers. Call let's go, all bring challengers. it on, bring, bring it on. Get your best too. But this it. is, uh, these are every Wednesday at 5 p.m. It's a $6 entry, and usually how these tournaments work out is they give you some type of store credit back no matter if you win or lose. 
So that, that's at least when I when I went and played in the youth tournaments, it was like a twenty dollar entry fee, and you got like fifteen dollars store credit back, no matter what. And most of the time, you won more store credit. And if you want to raise that. the stakes, we're ready. <laughs> Just so frisbee golf course on Golden West uh, uh, Golden West Street. Perfect. Yeah, by the senior center. Perfect. Now, if you want something a little calm, nice atmosphere. Uh, Newport Beach Jazz Party, that's coming up. Uh, it's at the Newport Beach Marriott Hotel and Spa uh, on Sunday. And it's kind of like an all day deal. It goes from 10 a.m. to 11.30. There's different things going on throughout the whole festival there. Uh, so if you're a fan of jazz music, definitely go check it out. It's over in Newport Beach coming up this Sunday. And even if you're not a fan of jazz music, usually these like music festivals, they have like really great food trucks and like items you can buy, custom paintings and stuff like that. That's it's exactly why. Fun to go. That's exactly why you can make it a picnic. You can make it an all-day event. Whatever yeah. you decide, I think definitely encourage you to go check it out this weekend for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, one thing that we wanted to kind of talk about too are some of the things happening on the Sack and Stone team. What happened in the last week with the Sack and Stone? team well for yeah. one you might have seen some posts of us and and we were in portland oregon we weren't necessarily in portland oregon to have a grand old fun time but we were there because we we're at a two-day marketing event mm -hmm. and our goal stipe is our marketing director so it was important for him to be there but our goal is to be cutting edge and all that all things marketing yeah. for you our clients and anybody watching yeah. Um, so yeah, we definitely came back last night and it was a great event. We learned a lot of things. We can't wait to share them with you. Mm -hmm. um, we also sent out a Where's Gary? Yes. So that was fun. So a lot of people have responded back on where Gary was. And yeah. There's going to be more of those coming. We're going to make it uh -huh. a little bit harder. We hear your comments and we're going to pick the winner. I know we were going to say we're going to pick the winner today, but we're going to pick the winner on Monday because we just, like I said, we came back from Portland. We're still tallying up all the people that responded and we don't, we want, we don't want to miss anybody. So we want to make sure everybody has the opportunity. So come Monday, we're going to pick the winner live on the Where's, on the Where's Gary um, contest. We also uh, launched two new listings. It's actually a power of two. So we launched two new listings. Uh, we put two of our listings under contract and okay. we closed two listings. Yeah. So it was a very <laughs> active week for us yeah. like the Sack and Stone team. Um, and then and in Orange County in general, as far as real estate's concerned, uh, a total in Orange County, there were 664 new listings in the last seven days. And let's see, over 800 went under contract. So very similar to what we talked about in the real estate roundup last week, mm -hmm. there are more homes going under contract than are currently available, which means if you're a buyer right now, it's there's a lot of competition. Um, if you're a seller, inventory is really low, so the sellers are tending to get their price again. So if that stays, if that stays the you know the same over the next couple of weeks, some of the mm -hmm. buyers are going to have a. a a little bit of a harder time finding the, the home that they desire, but that's why you need professionals in your corner to know how to work the angles, know how to work the off-market opportunities, and know how to knock on doors in the neighborhoods that you desire to get the homes that you want in a low inventory market. Well, just an example, off-market opportunities, how many do we have coming soon? We have 10 listings coming soon. So 10 listings, that's huge, you know? I mean, how many other teams can say they have 10 coming soon? Hopefully not many, yeah. we're pretty active, but yeah. We do, uh, and the, and the they're coming over uh, between next week and like eight weeks from yeah. now, basically. We have yeah. 10 right now that are coming soon. Mm -hmm. So between us and 500 agents within our company, we have an extensive list of off-market and coming yeah. soon opportunities that you guys can definitely take advantage of. So don't feel, don't be afraid to give us a call anytime. And uh, that was it. I mean, that was our SNL Weekend Update. Yes. Thank you for being our fill-in for the other <laughs> S, Scott. I'm scared, sure Scott's yeah. definitely missing us right now, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he'll be on next week. And we know that we'll have another great SNL for you guys so thanks for watching see ya bye